Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of Ramen Ramen. Now this is a great card game where you're kind of card drafting, you're uh, trying to get ingredients. The more ingredients without hitting 14 points, uh, the way you that occurs, the top left is a point system, so and it goes one to seven. So if you're you're trying to get um, zero, is the preferred number you want. That way you can get all seven ingredients. When you get all seven ingredients, you get 10 points and they cannot be the same. So they are, have to be seven different ingredients. The way that works is you put one first on your bowl and then you put one in your opponent's bowl. Uh, and then after that, you grab a card. You always have four cards in your hand. So after that, you grab a card from the um, pile, then you put one in the marketplace, and then you put you grab another card from the pot from the um, the deck. That's pretty much how the game continues until the whole deck is completed. And so, the more ingredients and completed uh, recipes you have, the better scoring you have a chance of winning. So towards the end, you're going to want to use your higher cards to complete your uh, ingredients. That way you can actually score points. Because if you don't, then that doesn't count. If you have incomplete ingredients, which is up to 14 points, then, you, then that won't count. So you want to complete that ingredients. So we're just going to jump right into the review. So for the rules, I would get five out of five. Um, great rules, um, easy to learn, easy to play. Also like the player aid that provides all the information. So you have your um, eight each ingredients. You have your scoring and complete a bowl, sum of 14 or all some ingredients is how you complete a bowl. So very simple to play. Uh, you just need to make sure you do the card drafting uh, aspect of the game right. And so where you grab one, you, uh, then you um, grab one for the marketplace, and you put one back in the marketplace, and then you grab another one. So you're grabbing two cards, four at hand at all times. So five out of five in the rules. Uh, components, five out of five. The cards and everything are nicely made. Um, so they have like a, a slick coating. So I think even if you spill something on this, it would wipe right off. And the cards are nice and thick. Um, the illustrations are nice, easy to distinguish. Also the, the number is uh, easy to read. Even with the color, they, uh, I like how they separate it from the actual image. So it's easier to read the uh, number, also the name of it. It also has the Japanese, uh, this one's kind of hard to see the Japanese name of it because of the color, it kind of blends in. But here you see another one. So component quality, just a five out of five. Um, great components, really like the illustrations, uh, the fonts easy to read, the uh, numbers easy to uh, distinguish. From the, uh, from the color in the background. So five out of five. Uh, so experience, I would get a five out of five. Great experience. Uh, we have a blast playing this game. It's a filler game that only takes like 30 minutes or less, uh, even with three players. So it's fairly quick, um, extremely fun, uh, a little bit competitive. It is a little luck based on the card uh, drafting aspect of the game, uh, but you do have a marketplace that you can also uh, pick up cards and so, and it's a little bit of push your luck because you're uh, placing cards and you're tr trying to stay under 14 to begin the game uh, until you get to the very end where you're trying to just complete your uh, ingredients. But you're also determined on um, your opponent, how many cards they put down and the counts and how much e each one is. So it is a little bit uh, push your luck aspect to the game. So experience, five out of five. Uh, mechanics, I've given it four out of five, just 
simply because there is a, a luck based factor of car drafting. Um, and so you, there is uh, some aspect that you just don't have control of. So, but just a great game um, where you're just uh, trying to get the ingredients, uh, score as many points as you, as you can get. So it's kind of a point style type of game, uh, car draft and push your luck. So, and if you want to call it, take that when you're trying to, uh, you know, end your uh, opponent's ingredients as fast as you can. So you try to give them the uh, number seven so they get low points for the end of the game scoring. So it does have a little bit of that aspect to it too. So mechanics, uh, four out of five. So replayability, uh, I would give it five out of five. Just great replayability, um, have blast playing. Uh, it literally takes probably two minutes to set up, uh, two minutes to take uh, put away. And so it's just uh, very easy to teach and learn and relearn it would literally takes minutes. So it has a lot of replayability and 30 minutes also too. So it's a filler game. So you're going to be, uh, be able to play it multiple times. And I would venture to say it, some games take 15, 20 minutes uh, as opposed to 30. And so you'll be able to finish fairly quick once you understand the rules, even with three players, it's, quick, very little downtime. Uh, I would say downtime is probably 20 seconds max. Um, most um, plays take five five to three seconds because you have plenty of time to, in between uh, each player to, you know, uh, set up. And it's a fairly easy game to try and, you know, figure out the scoring system. So you're placing fairly quick. So overall total, um, I would give it four out of five, eight out of 10, uh, high replayability, fun, uh, filler game. So you can play it multiple times. Uh, also the illustrations are nice. Um, very little downtime in between player counts. And also there's also a uh, set time, uh, literally takes two minutes or less, tear down two minutes or less. So you're looking at max at, you know, extra four minutes between sup and, and tear down. And so total of 20 to 35 minutes uh, for a single game of even three players. Uh, I venture to say probably two players probably takes less. So quick game, a lot of fun, um, beautiful illustrations, great quality in cards. So four out of five, eight out of 10. If you like this video, please like subscribe. Social media is down below in the description. I'm going to have a link of where to buy the game. And we'll see you in the next video.